This is Walter Hollowell, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Today is December 2nd, 2020. I race a vintage race, a uh, Triumph TR6 1970. I have a full race engine in it, the in and I have two engines. The engine that's in my race car is doing fine, but I, I'm, built, I'm rebuilding my number two engine to have as a spare for next season. I just got the engine block back from the machine shop and it's uh, pretty ready, pretty much ready for reassembly. Over here on this side, you can see what is called a torque deck. This goes on top of the engine block as if a cylinder head would. You torque it down to 90, p uh, 90 foot pounds, and then the block, the block is in stress for all of the machining. So the cylinder bores have gone out to 60 thousandths over and it's been line board and new camshaft bearings have been installed, all why the block was in under stress with the torque block. So this machine is uh, about ready to install. Also, I've developed a mounting bracket, 3 inch inch steel, which goes on this side of the block so that I can hook my engine stand to the side and rotate the engine this way so I have full access to the front of the engine and the back of the engine um, instead of the engine stand going to the back of the block now it goes to the side it's a little more effective this is my crankshaft it's been magnaflux and it's been uh, ground 10 under on the mains and 10 under on the on the rod bearings and this is a camshaft I sent off to Chuck E and he regrounded for a cast caster full race grind which is what I'm using in my race car right now and I really like it it brings my engine really up to full power this is a stock TR6 connecting rod it's an I-beam construction it's kind of soft metal and it's kind of a weak point I won't be using this for my rebuild. I will be using this H-beam connecting rod. It's stronger, it's no lighter, but it's much stronger. It'll handle the revolutions up to like 7,000, 7,200 RPM. My 60 over pistons are forged aluminum, and I have them Teflon coated on the sides and ceramic coated on the top. The deck the top of the block has been milled so that the pistons are absolutely flush to the top. Cylinder head, which we'll show at a later date, has been cut down. We're looking at 12 and a half to one compression right now. Everything has to be kind of meticulously put together, take it apart, put together, take it apart. Um, the stock TR6 engine had 105 horsepower. I'm pushing about 200. And we'll have more of this uh, as, the, as the engine rebuild moves along. This will be episode number one of my engine rebuild. And then we'll uh, keep you up to date as the assembly goes on. This is Walter Hollowell in Albuquerque.